Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to reset the Honeywell Tuxedo Touch keypad. There's four different reset options in the keypad. There's a keypad reset, a keypad factory default, a Z-Wave reset, and a Z-Wave factory default. And we're going to go through each one today. The keypad uh, reset, all that really does on the unit is uh, power cycle it. So it's going to fully power it down and then it'll power it up. This is a great thing to do if you're troubleshooting the device as many times a reset can fix any weird bugs that you're seeing on the system and it's the best thing to do when you're first starting to troubleshoot your Tuxedo Touch. The factory default for the keypad or for the unit is also on the same menu. So let's head over to the menu and we'll show you what it looks like. So on our Tux, we're going to click on the tools icon. Then we're going to click on system and then we're going to do advanced setup. Now here you're going to want to enter your installer code. It's 4112 as the default. And then right here you'll see we have the keypad reset and the factory default. Now again, the keypad reset, what this is going to do is it's going to power cycle the Tuxedo Touch. So it'll just kill its power and then it'll boot back up. The factory default on the other hand is going to fully uh, default all of the settings on the Tuxedo Touch. So that's an option that you're going to want to use if perhaps you want to get this thing back to its original setting before reinstalling it. Maybe you have a system that you're just installing with a used keypad. It's a good option to do there. Or if you want to bring the keypad back to just its general features to start fresh again, you can do that with it too. One thing to know about the factory default though is that this is not going to clear all of the Z-Wave information on the Tuxedo Touch. It will drop all the names that you have programmed to the devices, but it's not going to drop them from the system itself. And we're going to go over how to do that. There's one other way you can do a keypad reset on the unit. On the back of the Tuxedo Touch, on this side right here, there's a little button. Let me take it off of its back plate so you can see what I'm talking about. This little button right here, if you get a, a thumbtack or um, a, uh, a paper clip, and you push that down, that'll perform a keypad reset. So if you don't want to use the option, here, I'll put it back on the back plate first. If you don't want to use this particular option on the front of the keypad in the menu, you can hit that button right there and it'll perform the same exact function. Now let's check out the Z-Wave reset and the Z-Wave default. So we're going to go back to the main menu and then I'm going to click on automation and then I'm going to click on the tools icon next to the Z-Wave icon down here. This is going to bring us into the deeper level menu for our Z-Wave programming and you'll see down here on the bottom we have Z-Wave reset and Z-Wave default. Now the difference between these two is that the Z-Wave reset, what that's going to do is it's going to power down the Z-Wave controller power it back up again. This is great to use, as you can see, it times out and we'll go back to the main menu. But the Z-Wave reset is good to use if you have a Z-Wave device that isn't functioning properly. It's not going to drop any of the settings that are in the Tuxedo Touch. It's just going to reboot it, refresh it, and in many cases that'll get it to start communicating with the Z-Wave device again. Now, the other option that you have in there is the Z-Wave factory reset. Let me go back into the menu first or the Z-Wave default, pardon me. So if we click on this, what this will actually do is this is gonna fully default the Z-Wave controller. So anything that's programmed in, it's gonna drop and it's gonna get it back as if it was uh, right out of the box or brand new. What you will have to do though is after you do your Z-Wave default, if you do have devices that were programmed into the Tuxedo Touch, you're gonna have to do an exclusion on those devices first to get them to be able to program into another Z-Wave controller or back into the Tuxedo Touch. That's because with Z-Wave devices, when you program them, program them into a controller, they receive information from that controller and they'll hold that until they're excluded and that gets cleared off of them. So let's lock, walk through this once just to show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn in a device, I have a Z-Wave switch down here on the floor to the Tuxedo Touch. Then we're gonna operate it. Then we're going to do a factory default, and I'm going to show you that you're not able to relearn it back in until we exclude it to clear out the Z-Wave device first. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to automation. I'll go into my Z-Wave menu. I'm going to do add device. So now the Tuxedo Touch is in learning mode for a uh, new Z-Wave device. 
device. So on the zero device, I'm going to click the function button. And as you can see, we have a multi-level switch that was added. That's the switch that I just programmed in. So if I go back, you'll see that it's right here. And I can operate the device. So now, if I go back into my Z-Wave menu and I do a Z-Wave default and click Yes, this is going to default the Z-Wave controller. And as you can see, the switch has been dropped from the Tuxedo Touch. Now when I go to try to re-enroll it to the Tuxedo Touch, because we didn't clear out the, uh, the Z-Wave switch first, it's going to have an issue when trying to learn back in. So just to show you this, if I click Add Device and I click on the function button on the switch, it will not learn back into the Tuxedo Touch. So what I'm going to do is back out of the menu, go back in. I'm going to do a remove device first and then hit the function button. As you can see, the device was found and it was removed. So now we should be able to add it back in. So I do add device. And as you can see, the switch has been enrolled back into our Tuxedo Touch. So just keep that in mind. If you do use a Z-Wave default on your Tuxedo Touch, all the Z-Wave devices that are uh, enrolled to the system, you'll have to exclude them first before they're able to be reprogrammed back into a Z-Wave controller. If you do have any questions about the Tuxedo Touch alarm systems or alarms in general, feel free to reach out to us. You can hit us on email at support at alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728 or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be updated when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.